Hi, and welcome to this next installment about how to help your child not just survive, but thrive through Common Core Math. My name is Christine, and I'm really glad that you've tuned in. Today I'm going to do a quick video of something that's going around the internet, and that's friendly numbers. Part of, um, and whether we like it or not, whether we think that borrowing and carrying should be taught instead of being doing the friendly numbers, it's not right now. And like I talked about in the first video, we should all know different methods, so I think that we should still be teaching our kids how to borrow and carry, but right now this is how they're learning, so it's good for you to know that too. Now the friendly numbers is always trying to get numbers to tens or hundreds so that it's easy to combine things. I'm going to give you an example first of addition. And we have 47 plus 23. Now yes, I know that we would normally take the um, 7 plus 3, make a 10 and carry the 1, and then add 1 plus 4 plus 3 to get 7. Okay. Now, what they're trying to have you do is make friendly numbers. So we're going to rewrite this problem for your kids. And this is how they're supposed to be doing it. They're supposed to see that if you take this 3 and add it up to there, we're going to make 50. So we're going to add 3 to 1 and subtract 3 from the bottom. Now when we subtract 3 from the bottom, that gets us 20. Now, now we can do 50 plus 20 gives us 70. Yeah, we are both getting the same answer. The one thing about math, and especially you're going to use this with algebra concepts, is whenever you, what we're doing is we're manipulating the numbers. So we're adding, taking this 3 and adding it up there. Yes, in a problem like that, that seems really simple. But that's, they want you to start simple so that they can do it later on. And that's how a lot of mathematicians actually think. And it does seem ridiculous at some point. But it is a good, it, we do need to know it. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is an, a subtraction problem because that makes things a little bit difficult. Let's say we have 510 and we're going to subtract 730 from it. Now they don't, again, they don't want you to be borrowing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this number into 400. Now remember, we're subtracting, so we have to do something different. We're going to make this into a 400. To make this into 400, we added through a 30. Now, we're going to add 30 up here, and that's going to make us to have 540. So now we can subtract, and this becomes 140. Now, if we did it with the old borrowing, we would borrow 1 over here and make this an 11, we would have 0, we would have a 4, and a 1. So you can see we get the same numbers, but they really want you to do this higher order thinking. It does take a little bit of practice, and I do admit that sometimes it is ridiculous, but that's what they're trying to do. So I hope this quick little video explained about friendly numbers to you, and if you have any questions, please give me a call.